This chapter is on the actual delivery of the customized employment services. My name is Janet Haino, and I will provide most of the commentary for this chapter, but I will be ably assisted by Barb Penner, the Employment Initiative Coordinator at CLSBC, and a number of our service providers, Linda Delpart and Hope Taylor from Polaris Employment Services, Barb Gertson from Delta Community Living Services, and Tina Fabro from Community Link and Ladysmith. In addition, you will see a number of videos that have been ably prepared by a number of our other service providers. We thought it appropriate to quickly review the project vision. Our vision for undertaking the customized employment demonstration project was to expand employment opportunities for persons with developmental disabilities. We sought paid work in integrated settings and focused on the individual's abilities and required supports for success. We defined work as being paid, full or part-time, and self-employment. Work was created to meet individual needs and provide economic benefit to the employer and the employee. Workplace and natural supports are in place to help the individual succeed. Throughout the project, we used the following definition of employment and we thought it useful just to remind everyone what that was. Paid work that takes place in an integrated community setting alongside people without disabilities and where wages, benefits, and working conditions comply with industry standards and relevant laws. For the purposes of this project, employment does not include work experience or volunteering, but may include self-employment. Just a quick review of some of the principles underlying customized employment. Employment planning starts with the person. It begins with the premise that everyone can work. Discovery is the process that uncovers the skills, talents, and abilities of each individual. Each job is customized on a person-by-person -person basis. Jobs are created where responsibilities are negotiated between the employer and the employee. And individualized employee-employer relationships are created. There are economic benefits to the employer and the employee. And fundamentally, there is transition to natural supports. Job responsibilities are based on job seekers' strengths, needs, and interests. It includes a proactive negotiation of a position and tasks and supports with an employer. It ensures that supports are in place for an individual to be successful on the job. And fundamentally, we believe that customized employment is an option for everyone. There are a number of service modules in the customized employment services. So on this slide, we have broken down some of our observations based on collecting of data over the past three and a half years. These are the significant milestones that we tracked the average duration in terms of weeks and the average effort. Again, based on approximately 300 individuals served. I remind you that these are averages and not necessarily what would be encountered for a specific individual. Obviously, there will be a number of outliers. There is overlap on duration as many of the activities are concurrent. Activities can and should overlap. Kerry Griffin suggests that discovery should take on average four to 20 hours for an individual. With three years of learnings, we are right on target with our average discovery taking approximately 22 hours and lasting a period of approximately eight weeks. Some were much longer. We had one discovery in the early stages lasting 50 hours, but as we got better and more comfortable with the process, 22 hours appears to be about right for discovery. Many of the tasks such as vocational profile, plan for employment, and some job retention strategies are occurring during the discovery stages and are often happening concurrently. In addition, job retention strategies may also occur throughout our service continuum. In total, our lapse time to secure employment is approximately 44 weeks, compared to an estimate given to us by Kerry Griffin of up to approximately 20 weeks. Our time may be skewed slightly due to the nature of the clients served, in particular youth, who we worked with in the early stages, we did not necessarily provide services in a concentrated manner, but rather little and often over a period of time. We have since learned that focused and concentrated effort is a much better way to approach customized employment services.
These hours do not include indirect supports and or administration. Over time, we have seen a gradual decrease in the hours spent as we became more familiar with the individual modules and the process of customized employment. Supports here are noted over a period of approximately 36 weeks. We believe, based on our observations, that supports, once a job is stabilized, are approximately one hour per week. Janet, um, as we talk about this, can you talk a little bit about the job retention strategies and, and, and what you included in those strategies? The, these strategies were ongoing. They started primarily in the discovery process and carried through over job development. And this was a recognition of certain aspects that needed to be in place to ensure that the job was right and that the individual could retain that job. So for example, we may have looked at transportation and what kind of transportation needed to be in place to make the job a viable option. We looked at um, the work environment. We looked at possibly what kind of social skills or personal skills that, that may be required in order to ensure a commitment to employment. They were different for every individual. And so this is a rough estimate of the hours that were involved. On the next few slides, we will discuss some of the successful practices for each milestone. It is less about the details on the how-to and more about the observations on the doing. Going back to the previous slide, we noted that intake lasts approximately two weeks and requires approximately three hours of effort on the part of the service provider. This is the opportunity to introduce a service provider and a job seeker. It's the opportunity to begin the conversations. It is the opportunity where we can discuss customized employment, reminding participants that customized employment is not a program. It is a tool to reach employment goals. It is an opportunity to determine the best approach to meet individual employment goals. The focus is on determining if this is the right tool, as we've come to realize that not everyone needs customized employment. It may require multiple meetings, often with the individual's family and or support network. It is an opportunity again to start the rapport with families. We believe that the sooner that families and support networks are engaged, the more beneficial the process will be for everyone. Discovery is the cornerstone of customized employment. It is a tool. I, I think this slide says everything about discovery, whereas the real voyage of discovery consists not of seeing new landscapes, but in having new eyes. And that is what discovery under the customized employment model is all about. It is the heart of customized employment. It is the roadmap for answering the questions. Who is this person in terms of employment? The skills are there. Discovery is simply the process to find them. In summary, discovery is a way to identify the new contributions offered by those who might not otherwise compete as well as others in a competitive job market. In the discovery process, we get to know people in settings where they are most who they are. Discovery is the foundation of employment planning that seeks to customize outcome. Discovery is compatible with self-determination and choice for the individual. Discovery is all about getting to know people or helping them to get to know themselves before we help them plan their journey to employment. In discovery, we spend time with participants instead of testing or evaluating them as a means of finding out who they are and what their strengths, their skills, and what their talents are. It is a way to find out what is the best that each individual has to offer. It has been said that discovery is a common sense strategy to determining complexities and preferences. And to sum it up, it is about the whole person. Discovery can be used for almost any individual. On the next few slides, you will hear from our service providers and, and their views and observations as to why discovery works and why it works so well. So um, I'm here now with uh, Hope Taylor, uh, an employment specialist, and Linda Delapart, the executive director from Polaris Employment Services. And uh, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, the customized employment 
model for delivery of employment services. So, so I'm not really asking a very open-ended question of, of Hope and Linda, and it's around um, what is different about customized employment as, as an organization that has previously provided employment services, and, and why does it work, and, and how does it work to achieve long-term solid employment results? I think it's taking more of a, a family member said, taking the time to learn about what my son really likes to do doesn't happen in an office. It happens in the discovery phase, which can be in very many different environments. And you learn something different about individuals. And I think Polaris benefited from having uh, an opportunity to work with a couple of young people that we had worked with in the support, more the supported employment model and not been completely successful. What was different about Customize is we learned really what did that person, where were they happiest, what did they like to do, where were skills that we wouldn't have seen in an office, and how do you make that uh, information work as to where in the uh, business community might we find those duties or those skills. So I think that was a really, that was really solid for us in terms of learning about the Customize model, the differences. if I go in sort of order of the process that discovery is the foundation of the CE process because that focuses the job development. That takes it to a very focused approach and it results in connecting the person to the right place, the right people, the right work conditions. Another strength I think for CE is that it removes those systemic barriers to employment and it does that by creating unique job matches that hadn't previously existed in a competitive job market. Those jobs weren't there and didn't exist before we made contact with the business. Again, removing those systemic barriers in a competitive job market where people were supporting often weren't successful. And I think just building that community capacity and as a strength of CE and as it builds that capacity through the facilitation and natural supports in each business. And those supports have a lot of influence and a lot of contacts in their lives and it spirals out. Here are a couple of the successful practices for discovery. Engage the family and social network and support network early and often. Throughout discovery, be flexible but have a clear plan. Figure out the timing, who, what, where, and when. It is very important that discovery is done on a concentrated basis. We found that a four to 12 week period is ideal, maybe as short as two to three weeks, and that the average of 20 to 25 hours seems to be about right. Be intentional and intensive. Meet as often as possible, at least once a week, again, our experience has shown that discovery works best when the momentum is kept going. Discovery is not done in your office. Off-site meetings are conducted. Observations are in an individual's home, perhaps a social setting, activities they like to do, or situations where you can observe skills, talents, and abilities. Observe activities. It's very important to observe as opposed to interview. In discovery, we validate what we have heard. Some of the other successful practices in discovery, use informational interviewers, interviews and tours of employers' premises. We found that these work the best if you bring the job seeker with you. We have suggested and service providers have used work experiences, but these are work experiences with conditions, and those conditions would include short-term, time-limited, a written plan, expectations and objectives, regular meetings with the employers, and really understanding what is expected to come from the work experience. What are you trying to learn? What are you trying to observe? What are you trying to discover about the individual? Janet, I think basically those work experiences need to, need to meet the requirements for the employment labor standards, correct? That's right, yes. Yeah. So in discovery, we are thinking skills and interests, not job descriptions. At the end of discovery, uh, most of our service providers have produced a photo profile. 
This photo profile is skills-based. Shortly you will hear how successful this has been as a number of our service providers will discuss their experiences with using photo profiles to meet with employers. And at the end of discovery, we end up with a the photo profile and the foundation and the tools to create the vocational plan. And we've concluded and best research would suggest that three themes are ideal. So Janet, can you talk a little bit about themes? Themes are high level ideas. They are not job descriptions. They are perhaps working environments. They are concepts. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about themes under employment plan, but think in terms of things like music, transportation, outdoors. Those would be employment themes that we would then try to match skills and abilities with. What to avoid when you're doing discovery. I've said this once before and I'll say it again. Avoid thinking in terms of job descriptions. We are thinking skills, talents, we're thinking themes. It's easy to think of job developing while doing discovery. That's not what discovery is about. Discovery is all about getting to know the person. Don't assume when you're doing discovery that you already know the information. Uh, don't take at face value what you hear. Again, it's about observing and validating statements. Don't ask an individual, what do you want to do for work? That is part of what the discovery process is all about. And particularly, don't think in terms of dream jobs. At this point, discovery is all about getting to know the individual. Don't jump to conclusions. What we are trying to do with discovery is really determine who this individual is and provide the building blocks to create that all-important uh, profile and vocational plan. I think, Janet, one of the big things about discovery, too, is, is making sure that we're not doing that unintentional validation where, where people start talking about something and, and you as a, as a staff person come along and say, oh, yeah, I remember when I went to Disneyland and, and you know, these things were exciting for me. Um, and we end up, you know, having a discussion about the support worker's interest as opposed to the, to the individuals. I think one of the key skills around discovery is just being able to to ask some really um, key questions and then basically sit on your hands and be quiet um, and, and put on your listening ears. How true. We'll now hear from a number of service providers on how they have adapted the use of the photo profile and their views on how successful it is in creating job opportunities. I think the other area for myself as a supervisor was looking at the approach of a, a photo profile rather than a resume and the reaction for employers engaging differently by seeing the person as a person and not necessarily fitting just for their usual type of duties but carving out or negotiating um, duties for that person became much easier and we have always done job carving but I think the negotiating piece changes with the picture portfolio approach and an interest in getting to know that person uh, rather than doing a typical job interview and following the steps of employment. So I think that was an aha moment for me anyway as a supervisor. I think the picture portfolio makes all the difference in the world as Linda said. I know I'd been working with an employer and developing a relationship with this employer over the last few years just checking in on him from time to time to see you know if there was anything available and there never was and then um, a few weeks back I brought in a picture profile of a young man who wanted some part-time work and the manager was very excited about the picture profile and noticed that um, this individual had quite a bit of success with Special Olympics on the international level and it turned out that he was very involved with Special Olympics as well with fundraising and, and offered him the job on the spot. It's a very, very good fit and I think that was one of my aha moments is when someone can see that profile, it's so clearly laid out in just a few words really in a picture about what that person's passions are and uh, how that can relate to the job. I think that that is one of the main differences in, uh, in customized employment is, is finding out in discovery where the passion is and then being able to go to the employer and saying this person has a passion for something that will work in your environment. 
And I think that, that building those relationships with the candidate and with the employer is what leads to long-term job retention as well. Uh, and I think one of my aha moments was when this young man, I dropped him off after the job interview and, and he had gotten the job and he said, I'm just a really happy guy now. That just, that kind of chokes me up still. <laughs> but uh, that was one of my aha moments was knowing and learning every day the difference that uh, meaningful employment makes in someone's life. The other really effective tool that we used as well was a portfolio with pictures of the person engaging in different work tasks or, or recreation activities sometimes, if that was of benefit, and um, outlining through pictures what a person could contribute to their business. So that could help an employer visualize how that person might work and contribute to their organization and their business. We, we always talk how critical the ongoing relationship with employers is, and I just wondered if you had some comments around using the customized process or approach, just what impact that has or what you've learned from adopting the, the job creation model or the, uh, some of the other tools that, that we've talked about. Probably one of, the, one of the tools we didn't talk about was you know, the, the whole concept of developing natural supports and the staff member starting that process early on with the photo portfolio. Employers seem to engage differently in ownership of that individual or that new employee in a way that I think builds for long-term success and the, the willingness to support people who may need additional supervision or additional prompts or additional accommodations to make the job successful, that seems to happen more willingly in the process with photo portfolio and the negotiation around the skills that we think and the duties we think will fit well for the firm and for the person. So I see we do um, job coach in the, in the customized employment, but I think it's a slightly different relationship and maybe we're also asking more of the employer to offer solutions if things are need to be changed or improved. What, what would you do in this situation? We're asking the employer uh, for any other employee, how is this the same or different? But I think that whole the starting point from the negotiation means this isn't just any employee, this is an employee you're making a commitment to. Mm -hmm. and, and that seems to be an unspoken situation that still results in a more long-term job match. can this person uh, do to help me as an employer? And I, I think it's very important when you're marketing a person, approach it from a business point of view as well. You are going to the business to help the business, to assist the business, and you have to look at it from the business's point of view. We talked briefly about the employment plan. The employment plan brings together 